Hi, I'm Jelly. Hi, I'm Helen. And this is our Mercedes Sprinter that we bought in 2015 and converted ourselves and uh, live in full time now. As mountain bikers, the most important thing for us was somewhere to store our bikes. So we made this garage that uh, sits in the back of the van underneath the double bed. The bikes sit on this welded aluminium tray, which slides out and makes, uh, makes ac accessing the bikes really easy and also works really well as a maintenance stand and is fully waterproof as well. So uh, when, the, when the bikes are dripping wet, covered in mud, um, you don't need to worry about it uh, soaking the inside of the van out. Also in the garage, we've got uh, the electric hookup point and also the water filling point and also we've got a full water filtration system which works really well. We can literally fill up from any river or stream, no matter how dirty, and still get drinking water out of it at the end. Um, we've also got the um, gas and electric operated boiler and, um, and then, uh, yeah, there's other storage, storage items in the back. So it's, it's a really great usable space. So we've gone for a dual rear wheel axle that um, helps us with a bit of uh, off-road traction because um, we couldn't uh, find any second-hand four-wheel drive sprinters, so uh, we thought, thought that was the next best thing. This is also a, um, an ex-police sprinter, so it does actually come with uh, novelty bulletproof windows. We've also gone with the uh, NATO green paint, as you can see, and we did that to, uh, to blend in in the countryside, and it uh, means we can uh, just hide away a bit and uh, be a bit, uh, bit more off-grid and, and things like that. Um, we've also got a bit of an extravagance, but a, a full electric um, awning, which um, is, uh, is really good, um, both for when the sun's out, but also uh, a lot of the rain we get in the UK, so it works well as a shelter. So at the front of the van, we've got this big LED light bar, which uh, generally use it off-road and uh, when we're finding camping spots and things, and uh, it's, it's really, really bright. It's generally used on combine harvesters to light up whole fields, so uh, you can imagine how bright it, it is with that. So it's a, it's a good feature for the van. So inside the Sprinter, we've, uh, first thing you see is we've got the uh, electrical systems all in one area. Um, it just makes uh, diagnostics for any problems really easy. Um, but we've got a Sterling uh, Power Products um, inverter and charger, which is a, a three and a half thousand watt inverter. Um, it's, it's, too, it's really too big for what we need, but um, we were going to run a, an electric oven, which um, with a lot of research we deemed was, was overkill and, and would have killed the batteries within half an hour, so we, uh, we went with the gas oven instead. Um, we've also got the TriStar solar panel controller, which um, manages all the power coming from the solar panel and keeps the batteries topped up really well. And um, uh, leads me on to that the panel on the roof is a Norwegian Crystals 280 watt panel. Um, it's a monocrystalline panels and really, really good quality and um, we, we funny enough regularly see 320 watts from it so it's uh, it is more than sufficient for everything we have in the van. We've also got the 12 volt fuse panel there's a few of these dotted around the van for different um, different appliances and um, we've also got the um, the RCD sockets for the um, 240 volt. Okay so welcome to the inside of our van we've got lots of storage as you can guess so above the forehead here loads of storage and a really handy chalkboard for memos or that sort of a thing. We've got lots of overhead storage in here as well. And of course, underneath the sofa, we've also got lots. Um, that also houses our aircon system, which is really handy for the summer. Okay, so welcome to the kitchen area. We first off here have a fully filtered drinking water and semi-filtered water that we use for washing up now. That means that we can pick up water from anywhere. So reservoirs, lakes, ponds, you name it, and we have completely safe drinking water. It means we have a much better range. Um, we also have a grey water tank slung underneath the van, so worst case, we can actually recycle things like our washing up water and that sort of thing for extreme circumstances. Haven't had to try that one out yet, but um, it's there if we need it. Under the sink here, we've got a really nice big pantry, so that's kind of all our tins and, you know, stock um, items for cooking and that sort of a thing go in there. So moving back, I've got all of my uh, 
cutlery, cooking utensils, everything like that goes in here. I've got in here a, a nice big fridge with a small freezer in the top. So of course we've got plenty of space for food. We can, you know, be self-sufficient for quite a long time. This all runs off of the solar panel that's on the roof that Jenny would have told you about earlier. Here we've got our LPG gas oven. Um, nice uh, three ring burner on the top here. Underneath a really nice big oven. It's got a grill and everything like that. So you can cook pretty much everything in it. I've done roasts and everything. So, you know, no limitations on that. Um, and under here, I've got a really nice big storage drawer that all the pots and pans and trays and that sort of a thing go into. Okay, so this is our bathroom area. Um, and this is something I'm particularly proud of. This is our composting toilet. So it's an airhead. Um, it's a fully separating composting loo. So we've got the solids go in a separate tank at the back and the liquids in the front. Um, I use coconut coir in it and I'm generally emptying it about every five months or so. Um, it works really, really well. We, we have a completely composted medium that comes out of it and the uh, front sort of liquids we're probably emptying every couple of days or so. It really works well, we absolutely love it. It's been probably about one of the best, from my point of view, one of the best purchases we've made so far. Um, so I highly recommend that if anyone's considering it, just give it a go, you won't regret it. And then we've got our shower. So the main thing with that was we wanted to be able to stand up, you know, be have a, as normal a shower as possible. Um, and I think we've really achieved that. The pressure's amazing. It's better than most of the flats I've lived in. And uh, yeah, we really, really love it. Stainless steel shower tray, um, you know, works really, really well. Um, we use it to dry clothes in really bad weather. The shower is pretty awesome. We're really happy with that at the moment. Okay, so this is our bedroom area. We've got loads of clothes storage here. So that's pretty much all of our, you know, day-to-day -day clothes are stored up here. We've got like a little area here where all of our toiletries and, um, you know, uh, various bits and bobs like that go. Um, then we've got our Abus Batcher controller. So that's a diesel heater. It's fed from the uh, diesel fuel tank. Um, means we can operate it from bed. So in the winter when it's a bit chilly in the van, we can just set it going before uh, we get out. So it's all nice and toasty for us. We've also got the uh, boiler controllers as well. Um, and the uh, light switches so we could kind of do everything from bed if we want to which is really nice the mattress is a uh, memory foam and high density foam kind of hybrid um, really comfy we really love it it's awesome um, we've got our little kind of feature wall here as well so this is um pallet wood and we just kind of put that in to give it a bit of warmth and a bit of texture works really really well it's super warm in the winter um, and we love it it works really well Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe now and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. If you want to support us and help continue making our videos, then join us on Patreon from only $1 a month. See you on the next one. <laughs>